Hello everybody, this is Davo123 and I am back here with another video and today we are doing some more Clash Royale here and as you can see a new card came out called the Royal Recruits there and they are really interesting. They cost 8 elixir and as you see right there those are the stats at level 1 and those are the stats at tournament standard you could pause it or whatever and basically they have 6 troops that spawn all across the uh, map and it's really weird the mechanics weird but they, have a, they had a Royal Recruits challenge so you can unlock them and here's the practice for them they originally were six elixir but they got nerfed heavily I mean like it was, they're bad right now but anyway we're gonna be hopping into some battles here or what we did uh, let's just record a version so I have three videos here to show you guys or three replays and so yeah we'll be going through these at two times speed so here we are doing the Royal Recruits Challenge. He dropped the Night Witch. He's playing a, uh, seems like a graveyard deck. It's really weird. And I'm playing a Mortar deck. And uh, originally I was playing uh, Log Bait, but I just, it, it doesn't work in this challenge. The Royal Recruits cost way too much elixir. So yeah, we do uh, actually a lot of damage onto his tower. It's pretty good. We have a perfectly timed Goblin Gang right there taking out that Magic Archer. Originally, if he knew how to play the Magic Archer, that would have been really bad. He could have played it right where uh, my Mortar was. It could hit my tower. As you guys see right there, uh, he just played the Royal Recruits, and I played mine, and they spread three on each side, and sometimes you can get four to attack one unit, and I'll show you that more a little bit later in the challenge. And I just clutched that Tesla down so the Wizard doesn't get any shots off, and basically the Mortar takes the tower, and he hasn't even touched my towers yet, so... We're doing really good. He drops his Royal Recruits in the back, and I drop mine too, and then he just throws everything in this one little spot. Valkyrie, um, Night Witch, Bomber, Magic Archer, three Royal Recruits, and Inferno Dragon. I'm like, wait, what? And I start panicking because this Inferno Dragon locks, and I'm like, oh crap, but I mean, I drop my, what's it called, um, one of the names, Rascals, and they take out the Inferno Dragon 4. It does massive damage. So we won that one. That was a very interesting battle. But on to the next one here. And this is me using log bait. And as you can see, I lost a lot of battles doing log bait. So that's why I just switched to mortar. But here we go. Here's a three crown. And this guy appears to be playing. Um, it looks like a triple elixir deck. He has golem. He has elite barbarians. He has minion horde. And he has royal recruits here. So I'm most like, and punk obviously. I'm most like, oh wow. He also has a balloon. Jeez, and Dark Prince, oh my god. This guy, <laughs> he's playing a triple elixir deck. This is not okay. Anyway, he catches me by surprise at the beginning here by taking my tower right there. But I do massive amounts of damage with my log baity tactics, even though, honestly, this guy doesn't have log. I think he was just trying to quit. So I first take his tower right here, and I'm chipping away at his other right-hand tower right there. And he is just holding up on elixir right there. I mean, I was wondering what he's doing. I didn't know if he was full or not. Finally drops a golem, so I'm just putting pressure. That magic archer should have been a tile back so the king tower should, couldn't have hit it, but well, too late now. He starts attacking this golem, and right here, I drop my royal recruits as far right as they can go, and now there's four on the golem, and that's pretty much what you want to do if um, there's a big push or something tanky on either the right or left side. Just move your Royal Recruits as far left or as far right, closest to the whatever troop you're trying to defend. That's basically so you can basically defend pretty much anything with four recruits, which is actually really good. Four recruits can stop almost a lot of, like, pe you can stop Pekka, you can stop Mega Knight, you can stop, um, Golem single-handedly. So he ended up quitting at the end there, that was pretty funny. Anyway, on to the next and final replay, and this is a Clan Wars replay, and he had a graveyard deck, I think, and then I had a um, spell bait or log bait or whatever you want to call it, I don't really care. And so yeah, we're just waiting here, I'm just waiting to see who's going to play for us. He drops down his spear goblin hood, and I try killing him with the perk, that means he's getting bleh. I try getting damage on with the princess, but he logs it, so I just rocket it. That was a poorly timed Valkyrie right there. I probably, I really should have waited right there just so that I could have a really good counter push. Anyway, I drop a Goblin Barrel on the back and it does about 500 damage. And now he comes in with this push with the Ice Skull and Graveyard Poison. And that's actually a lot more deadlier than I thought it was. He really should have waited though with the Ice Skull. So I can already tell that this guy does not know how to play this deck really well. 
And so he uses a mega minion to counter that. And here, I got caught with my pants down. I have no elixir here. So finally dropped the Goblin Gang after there's another, like, 500 or 600 damage. He drops on another Spear Goblin Hunt. He's just not getting the message. He keeps logging my princesses. And I have a rocket. I, mean, I don't know what this guy's goal is. I don't mind the chip on the right side necessarily. It's the left side that I'm trying to defend here. He drops a poison. He drops a mega mega minion graveyard poison, which does about like 400 damage. Not as much. I rock with his other spear on hut. My princess takes out the rascals here, and I'm like, he has to log that right there. It was a goblin gang and a princess, and I don't blame him for on that. But that gets my goblin barrel back uh, there again, chipping it down some more. Seven, six, six, five more seconds to go. To that. Now we're in overtime. My god, it's so hard to keep up. And now I just do a rocket gun barrel to finish off this car. Wow, that was a mouthful. Anyway, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like. Comment down below. What do you guys think of the Royal Recruits? And of course, subscribe. It really does help. And yeah, oh look, it's Warrior. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!